Hey, Lisa, my first value this week is Austin Hooper, who's $5,100. He hasn't played since week six because of appendicitis, but from weeks one through six, Hooper was averaging about a 20% target share per game in this Cleveland Browns offense. Now Odell Beckham isn't there anymore because he's out for the year. They get a fairly plus matchup against Houston, and it's in a game with a high over-under this week versus the rest of the slate. So I really like Hooper at $5,100 at the tight end position. I also like Mike Davis at $5,400. Christian McCaffrey is going to be sidelined once again with a shoulder injury this time. That means that Mike Davis is going to be Carolina's lead back. Without McCaffrey this year, Davis has averaged about a 19% target share per game while seeing most of the work on the ground for this Panthers team. Now, the matchup against Tampa Bay is not ideal, but the Bucs have allowed the second most receptions to running backs this year, so Davis could be heavily involved as a receiver. But the bottom line here, Mike Davis is going to see usage, and he's only $5,400, so that makes him a good play. And then finally, there's John Brown. Arizona ranks as a slightly above average matchup for wide receivers when looking at adjusted fantasy points allowed to that position. But the reason that you want to target and use John Brown this week is that this game between the Cardinals and Bills could be a shootout as a 56 point over under. Brown's only $5,600. And last week, he saw a 29% target share. We know he's a big play threat. I like him a lot this week at his price point.